Hey guys, Ajax22 here, and um, yeah, check the mail. Got a uh, new grip frame for the slut hammer. But, as you may be able to tell already, it's uh, it's an XR3 Red. So, the, uh, the, the grips that we want to use, the inspiration for the project, won't fit. We now have two XR3 Red grip frames that we're probably not going to use for much of anything. I mean... In theory, at some point, I'll, you know, do something gun-related with them. I can't imagine owning gun parts that I didn't eventually find inspiration from and go use for something. It's the joy of having random gun parts in a box. You know, you're like, hey, you know, I remember something. I'll make a single-shot pistol out of this, or I'll, you know, cut it up and weld it onto something. Aluminum's a little bit icky for that, but... Steel parts are great. Um, it's a good lighting for that <laughs> slut hammer engraving on, on this gun. I like the way it it looks in this. But um, anyway, didn't work. It was cheap, but uh, you know, good, fast, cheap. Pick two. This was uh, a little too good to be true, and it turned out not to be. Uh, don't have a roll pin in this frame. I think this was originally used for uh, custom grip fitting by a grip maker. Um, yeah, it's the wrong one. I have a line on one that I'm 100% I'm sure will work. Uh, and by 100%, I mean, you know, at least 80%. Um, it's got a Dragoon profile. It looks to be steel, black, you know, like blued steel. And all the Dragoon, you know, the square back triggers, which is what I want to put on it eventually using a brass frame, uh, all those will fit the full-size grips that we've got. So, um, yeah. You know, that I can't, I, I don't, uh, if that doesn't fit, I, I'm going to be a little disappointed at the internet because, uh, it has. It will have officially led me astray at that point. But you know, it's going to be like seventy-seven bucks, um, and it's it's in route. So after that, it's going to be a matter of um, if I have a steel grip frame, I'm just going to go ahead and do a steel ejector housing for now. Order that from Ruger. Do a steel um, rear sight assembly. Because this one I actually lost the blade from. I'll, I'll find a steel one. The early micro marked ones were steel. And so I'll, I'll blast that, park it, and I'll just do a full parkerizing. I mean, this will be, you know, this will be the cheap, you know, cotton sundress for the girl that, uh, you know. She, she's going to have a nice set of brass grip frame with a brass ejector housing and a brass rear sight. It's custom fabricated at some point here. But uh, in the short term, yeah, just going to make it happen. Going to get her out there and play with her, make her look good, uh, a little bit cheaper, and then get to fabricating. I just, I just really want to get this thing into park before it gets too many more fingerprints and I have to, you know, take her down again. Anyway, that's where we're at. So... I'll update you guys when the, the new grip frame gets here. All right. Bye.